So hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you um, how to actually increase the speed of your of your viewport. So here now if we play this animation, you can see that let us play the animation. So we can see that the the speed here it's like running below 24 frames per second. So you can see how slow it is, especially if you have your uh, your your motion part that's when it's on. So most times look at it now but most time we want to actually animate at 24 frames per second or do some rigs may not actually allow that so but to me now it's i think it's better to always switch up what you don't need in the rig like maybe sometimes maybe the hair uh the, if you check and uh, the uh, uh, let me check all the contents of this you can see so all the contents of this like let me uh that's Let's clear this motion part. Uh, okay, for this part. So let me just go to the object property, then you clear it here. Just cancel. So for this ball now, we can see like some of these things are actually useless here. So like, uh, okay, maybe if I'm not using this element, this uh, backpack here, this hand here, you can you can turn them off once you're through with the animation, but you, you when you are animating most times you actually want to switch this off then sometimes also um some rigs actually do come with quality so you, you don't want to use the highest quality in your in your animation uh, especially when you're animating maybe when, when you're done with the animating you can actually turn it on to any uh, to the highest quality you want but like when you're animating you actually want to turn some of these things off so it's just better to turn them off then after you turn them off, since you are not using them, if it's having hair, you can remove it. Maybe if there's teeth, there's tongue, you can actually hide those. It will increase the speed of your viewport. And again, it, it, most times you don't actually want to animate that. That's when, when you are in, uh, like in render mode here. You really don't want to do that. So let's make sure that you are here at this shading here. That's just the, the viewport shading. Make sure that you are there. Don't don't use uh, viewport this other one here eh, for material or for the render. Don't use that. So, but for this first one, make sure you're using that. Then also, there's another settings here called simplify. So, you just go down to okay. Let us play this and see. You can see the the speed here. It's quite slow. So you can just come to simplify here. You click on simplify. Then mostly these are usually at six. Then these at one at one. Make sure you turn this down. That's the maximum subdivision. Make sure you turn it to the lowest, which is zero. Then these are also uh, maximum child particles. You don't need them while animating, unless you want to visualize them. Maybe you can come back and turn this on. But mostly, you really want to turn this off. That's especially when you're animating. So let us play this now by just click, uh, clicking on space and seeing the speed. You can see how the speed act has actually increased drastically, uh, drastically like from like seven seven point something frame per second to twenty four frame per second. So always consider this thing when you are animating. Hide what you're not using, what you are not animating at the, the present time. Maybe the hair and uh, some part of the clothes or the body. So just hide them if you are not using them. So when you get to the atone and you want to animate them, you can switch them on. Then if both maybe when you're starting out with the animation maybe you're blocking and you, you are not blocking that out you can actually just hide them till you want to use them so with this now i think we are applying some of these things it should actually increase the speed of your of your viewport although i i tried other methods but seriously this is the one that work best for me and i with my slow system you can see this rig is actually playing at 24 frames per second thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial